Prince Charles has made a devastating decision, but how does it affect the rest of his life and more importantly his family moving forward? Hi Neil, Sean here in the heart of London. We're on a night shoot this evening and of course behind me, it really needs no introduction, it is the wonderful Houses of Parliament in all the moonlit glory. And uh, of course it's chilly because it's late at night. But as ever, we wanted to bring you this latest breaking news story. Now this particular story really centers all on His Royal Highness, Prince Charles, who's had something of a rather difficult year. Let's not forget, of course, he's had his way one younger son, Prince Harry being very difficult. And of course, he's had to nurture, not just, of course, his mother, who's gone through a very difficult bereavement this year, but of course, more importantly, schooling his eldest son, His Royal Highness, Prince William, who of course will be one day our future king. But back to the bigger story, this all centres around of course a very special aide that has worked for Prince Charles for over 25 years. Michael Fawcett is the man and sadly after 25 years they've decided that they have to part ways. This is simply because of course Mr Fawcett was, and we have to say the word here allegedly, accused of well shall we say fixing certain things within the royal enclosure. Now it's very difficult for Prince Charles because Mr Fawcett apparently was the one royal aide that he simply couldn't do without. In fact, a lot of close insiders are saying the final decision on this momentous, well, moment in Prince Charles's life was really pushed forward by, of course, the Duchess of Cornwall. She felt that this was a step too far and a total embarrassment regarding, of course, His Royal Highness's charities. Now for Mr Fawcett, he won't be able to do that tell-all book because he's locked down in a non-disclosure agreement. But for Prince Charles, he's now found somebody he can totally rely on and more importantly knows that this situation couldn't get any worse. Who we're talking about, of course, but none other than his eldest son, His Royal Highness Prince William. As Prince Charles recently told a very close source, you can truly, in the end, only rely on your close family. It's taken Prince Charles a while to realise this, but thankfully, we're all thrilled that he has. Neil Sean in the heart of London.